Good morning. I'm at Bucky's here in Tennessee. I'm getting ready to go in. I had one of those brisket sandwiches last night. It was really good. I got gas. I had to, um, today was supposed to be Dollywood. And I'm going to print and frame the email that I got from Dollywood telling me to pick up my tickets today. This was the only day I could pick them up. The 5th. And guess what? They're closed. When I called, they said, oh, they must have forgot we were closed. I'm just not even going to go there. You can't make these things up. You just cannot make these things up. I did leave messages. I was a little perturbed. <laughs> I left messages. <laughs> I got some back. I haven't read it yet. Um, but I did rest yesterday. And I was rechecking everything, rechecking my email. I thought, well, I'm just going to check the times. They're open tomorrow. Just want to re verify it. And it said closed. This is, this is the trip. Yeah, yeah. And I made these over a month ago. And he's been emailing me back and forth. I've been having questions and stuff. Nothing was ever brought up. I mean, I am framing this. I am framing it because no one will ever believe it. I don't even believe it. I keep looking at it, making sure I didn't misread the date. So I had to call Carol so Carol wouldn't rush back. So we're going to have our meet up tonight, but today I had to have the air put in the tires. I thought I had a leak. I took it to a, not a big tire company, but one that was close to me that was local. I want to pay local. I want to do local you know, the smaller businesses. They took the tire off, they checked it twice. No no leak, just didn't have enough air in it. And I've put air in it, I don't know what's going on. <clears throat> so, and they didn't charge me a thing. And I have a picture of the place. They were just as kind as they could be. I offered, I just said, don't you want some money? And they said, no. So the kindness was just amazing to me. They spent maybe 15, 20 minutes doing this, but would not take any money. Thank you, Tennessee. And I came up to Bucky's, and here's gas at 307. And then I have a couple of other things I'm going to go around and see. But I think I've seen just about everything I want to see here in, in um, Kodak and Seaverville. Um, I don't know, I might go to a, a, an antique store, but we have the meet up tonight at 5. And I'm just going to focus on that and just get this video up because this is just kind of a trip. And I do believe this trip wasn't about what I had planned or Carol had planned. I think it was about what God had planned. Because <laughs> it's been a, a different kind of trip, guys. A different kind of trip. So, Carol's heading out tomorrow. Um, from what I see on the zip line, I don't even know if I can walk up to the zip line. I'm going to try to do a zip line tomorrow, but I, I probably won't, to be honest with you. It doesn't look like I can get up to it. You have to walk up to it. We'll see. We'll see. I, I may head out tomorrow. I may spend one more day, or I have so, a lot of meetups with people in other states that I want to see my subscribers, so I'm setting things up to see other people and to just wander around all the way back until I have a meetup in Arizona. I have a, an important meetup in Arizona. Talk to you later. You guys have a great day. Thanks for watching Camel. So I wanted to talk to you about this little station. It's called Go Forth Automotive. And I came in here because I thought I had a slow leak. And they took my tire off. They checked it twice. They did put air in all my tires. And I asked them how much I owed them. They didn't find a leak. And they said nothing. So this is a really nice place in Tennessee. And it's in uh, Kodak. And it's called Go Forth Automotive just thought I'd give them a call out, a shout out for their help, and I really appreciated it, and they didn't charge me anything. 